This is the start of putting in the, the carpets and the underlay. Um, you see I've put the, the studs in here, the extended ones, because they're the long ones because of uh, having um, an underlay and then the and the positions for these I've put in, I've used the back which uh, you can see here for the, that gives me my spacing for the pegs um, that isn't obviously this has to flap this has to flap forward but the two the four pegs there uh, that gives me the, the start um, you can see I've rebuilt this part of the the tunnel um, in my fashion and uh, these are blanked off because being a TR4 the handbrake cables uh, don't go through there they go under the floor well there's the underlay glued in the back just a, a bit of advice that I would suggest uh, whatever adhesive you use to glue the uh, glue it down uh, do a trial make sure that uh, it doesn't react with the paint uh, just because uh, you can get some of them react with the paint the original inside of the body was put in with an oil base not a cellulose uh, now the underlay is in, I've been a TR4 of course, the, the, we've got the jacking point there, I've cut round that and the uh, the mat will actually flap back. Um, now I've, I've, I'm cutting out, I've used a bradle to locate where the fixings for the seat, the seat fixings are and I'll punch out a hole but I've put in to stop it moving around while I locate them I've just put a, a peg in, a, an old pop rivet, something like that, just to stop it, keep it level. I'll now punch it out. There's a tip, if you use a pad punch, as I have, this is a, an old one, punch the, it out. Uh, do it over the end grain of a piece of wood and it'll cut in. If you do it the other way, then you, what the idea is, you want it to go into the wood and through and, and leave a nice clean hole so that uh, everything... There are the, all the holes are nice and clean. If you try drilling through or anything, then all you do is tangle up your drill and uh, snarl up and mess up your under, under felt. Here we have all the components for fitting the, these, uh, obviously for the carpets, um, 16 of each, 16 of the, of the long pegs because we're using a, an underlay. Uh, these there's four of the lifter dots for the back end where the pegs are, where the carpet, uh, where the, sorry, where the back end flips back so you can lift the carpet and uh, take that out. So there's only four of those and 16 of these. These are what I'm going to put in now. And you'll see that I've again used a pad to, a pad punch to punch, punch out the holes where I'm going to put them. There's four in each carpet, four, four there, four over there. There it is, the, for the, these are the chrome ones for fixing, I put the four in there, probably not the purest positions but that, that is where I want them so I can get the carpet out as and when. Uh, the um, underlay will be glued in now and I will punch through the carpet to expose these for fixing they seat in to make it easy. Well, here's a tip that works for me. What I've used is these very short stumpy studs. Put them exactly where I want. You can see where the stud and the where I'm going to punch out for the uh, runners of the seat. By pressing on it, it pushes into the canvas. So I, if I turn it over turn it over I've got all the positions of where the clips and the ones that I'm going to punch out just make sure you don't mix them up there it is with the the for the slideways for the seats uh, punched out and the screws in the positions that I want my clips to be uh, not necessarily where you want them to be but this is where I want them to be for access um, you can, as with that, just 
get your, uh, because it's central, just push it through uh, and then you can put your clip on the back for your fixings onto the... So there's all the four for this particular rear passenger side uh, footwell, uh, sorry, uh, seat area. Uh, the thing about having the screw just protruding through is you can check that they're precisely central before you extract them and then put the back the back on with the clips pushed in and bent back on all four that's ready to for a trial fixing that's that section in uh, I'll now do the the back one which has got a diff different clips on the back so for the that rear seat I'll take this carpet out now because uh, getting um, a lot of the underlays coming onto it uh, keep it nice.